Hey guys, sorry for the lack of videos recently. I haven't posted in two months, most of you probably won't even notice that I've uploaded, and this video is the one to blame for that. I originally was going to title this video as Will the Isle Ever Be Good? and go into depth about the subject, but there's just no point in doing so. I have not been very productive recently, and despite having no motivation to create it, I keep telling myself that I'll get back to the important things once I get this video out and I've been doing this for months now. So much wasted effort just to give a final middle finger to a game that I've already dropped a month prior, so I'll make this a lot shorter than it was going to be originally. For those that missed it, I did my final Isle play session on stream about a month ago, and yes, I know I've quote unquote quit the game or taken a break multiple times before just to end up playing it again a month later, but this is really it. With over 2000 hours in game, I'm saying goodbye to the Isle. This means that no, I will not cover the latest concept arts, I will not release the update 6.5 review video, and I will not be playing Gateway. For the most part, I have not had fun playing or even really talking about this game for the past year or so. I've been critiquing the Isle for two years now, it's not very often I've had anything nice to say regarding the game, but it did come from a place of love. A Be the Dinosaur Simulator has been a dream game of mine since before this game's earliest alpha build. Anything I've said about the Isle, through all the frustration, grumpiness, and even some rude comments, was said because I want this game to succeed in order to become the game that I, and many others judging by the 3,000 subscribers that I currently have, would actively look forward to playing on a busy day. There's just one problem with that. I don't know if this was more recent, or something that's been happening for a long time now, but some people on my channel have been waiting for and even encouraging me to shit talk the latest feature or announcement, or whatever it may be. I would like to say that I avoided falling into this being negative for negative sake situation, but looking back, I don't think that I did, with videos like the DevBlog Bingo series seemingly being made for the sole purpose of laughing at trends in the monthly development posts and live reacting to whatever they squeezed into them. However, I don't wish to blame my viewers for this, I was also motivated by views and ad revenue to make these videos as well, considering I made multiple videos basically just saying that I wasn't excited for the next update, which like... Why? <laughs> All of this while the game wasn't really going anywhere, nor did it seem like it would for a good while. After taking everything I just said into account, and being inspired by a video I saw a few months back, I finally started thinking about what I consider to be a very important question. With every feature, playable, and map added, with balance and optimization fixed, would I then genuinely enjoy the Isle? Unfortunately, the conclusion I came to is that no, I would not. I would still have my issues that none of the new features would fix, that would ultimately continue to impact my experience while playing the game. That is all I will say. I will go no further into detail about it. I was so busy being disappointed with the game in its current state that I never stopped to question myself on if I would even like it when it was done. Now that I've asked myself this question, I have made the decision to abandon it, and I encourage you to do the same. It's likely that you've had your fair share of negative thoughts about the game considering the channel you're subscribed to. So ask yourself, even if everything goes well, will I still have problems? If, like me, the answer is yes, well maybe it's time to just move on. I am not entirely sure what comes after this if I'm being honest, I would like to think that with the release of this video I can finally get around to posting regularly again, and even focusing more on the development of my own game which is something I started pursuing recently. While this is my farewell to the game, it might not actually be the final Isle video. I have hundreds, potentially thousands of gigabytes of recordings of the game that I could easily mash into a video of any highlights that pop up, so maybe you'll see that soon enough. Whatever it is, you'll see it pop up on my new YouTube roadmap. It's a way for me to keep track of what I have to work on and how far I've gotten with it, and I decided to make it public because, well, why not? Until next time, friends. Thank you for sticking with me, and be good people.